what's up Instagram land. I am here because I am getting SOS messages from some of my favorite clients who are supposed to be or going to be brides in the next few weeks. And with all of this house arrest, lockdown, quarantine garbage that's going on, they have no one to do their makeup for their wedding day. And so I'm getting all of these SOS messages. I've got two girls that have sent me very similar eye looks. So I'm going to really simplify this so that if you are one of these, y'all, it's just awful. One of these brides that, that is having to alter every bit of your wedding day. Um, that's what this is for. And so I'm going to keep it really simple. I'm going to show you the colors I'm using and we're going to go from there. Um, just a simple sort of smoky wedding day eye look. I will say one of the bits of advice I give to most of my photography clients, I really don't do a whole lot of wedding makeup for people. Um, but I am a, a photographer and I always say go bolder. Like if you feel when you look in the mirror, like you've got just a little bit too much makeup on, it's perfect because when you take a photograph, it washes out. Even if you're not using a flash, it's going to wash out a lot of the makeup. And so you want to go a little bit bolder on the eye, a little bit bolder on the lip, a little bit bolder on the contour. That way it photographs well. So bear in mind all of that. I'm going to pin my bangs back. Y'all, I need a haircut in the worst way. Okay. I have no other makeup on my face. Nothing's going on here. I'm going to go right into my eyes. That's another thing. If you're a mask, if you're a cream makeup user and you're going to do a bold eye, do your eyes before you do your foundation. That way the fallout doesn't get on your makeup. So typically I would use like a primer for my eyes. I'm not going to mess with that right now because I got to dig it out of my makeup box, but you're going to prime your eyes and then you are going to use making sure that's the right brush. Yes. Okay. This is my eyeshadow everything brush. Okay. The colors I'm going to be using today are all mascara and I have basic, which is like a really just neutral Brown. I have Philly, which is the one I always use in my eyebrows and it's great for a smoky look. I've got coal, which is a very cool sort of mushroomy, almost black Brown. And then I have Salem, which I'm going to use sort of as a liner, and that is our true black, okay? And then I also have um, Georgia uh, Illuminator, and I'm going to use that as a shadow as well. So those are the colors I have. I'm going to start with the fluffy side of this brush. This is the eyeshadow everything brush. I love it. And you are going to do almost everything. <laughs> we are going to eyeshadow almost everything. So I'm going into my crease. And then I'm coming up above the crease with this and sort of a windshield wiper motion. If you have hooded eyes, relax your eye and look straight ahead when you do your makeup. Do not do this because then your eyelid is going to eat your makeup when you relax your face. That's the trick for hooded eyes. So just relax your face, look straight ahead in the mirror, and that's going to let you know how high up you need to bring that eyeshadow so that you can actually see what's happening. So we're going to come up sort of onto the brow bone, not too terribly high, but we want to be able to see that. And I'm hoping you, it always looks so, the coloring always looks so weird to me when I'm in here. I hope it's bright enough. Is that bright enough for you guys? Can you see me? Let me turn my, turn my light up a little bit. Okay. Well, it says it's as high as it goes. All right. So I'm going to go to the other eye. Same thing. I'm just fluffing it on. Hold your shadow brush down here and let it do the work for you, okay? Look straight ahead. I sort of, I stop here and I swirl in because if you flick out, you're gonna get all that fallout down in here. So I put the brush down, swirl in, and then I'll kind of swiggle it right here and then I pick it up and bring it out. And that's how I keep from getting that weird fallout that gives you like that boxy look to your eyes. Bring this side up just a little bit more. All right. So we've got that main color, which is basic laid down. Okay. So that's what we got right there. I'm just going to use my ratchet robe. That's like 10 years old from the gap to wipe my brushes off in between. Okay. Now I am going to go in with Philly which is a really pretty warm brown. Same brush, same end, little bit of shadow. 
I'm gonna set the brush here and I'm just gonna sort of wiggle into this outer corner, okay? So we're just doing, and I am bringing it up a little bit and out a little bit. And you can see how that's darkening the edge of my eye, okay? And Max is awake, so I may get interrupted. Just bear with me if a half-naked toddler comes in here and tries to join us, okay? So I've got sort of that B thing going here, all right? That's what we want. I'm just sort of pressing that in and just really sort of smoking up this outer edge. I'm going to do it on the other side. You don't want to go all the way across. We're just doing these outer edges. And I know it looks a little boxy right now. We're going to blend here in a little bit. And it's all going to come together. Okay. Okay. So we've got basic. We've got Philly. Wipe it off. Now I'm going to use the small end. Actually, I think I'm going to blend first. We're going to blend this just a little bit. So make sure your brush is good and wiped off. And you're going to come out here. And we're just going to soften that really hard edge. And if it's too hard, don't be afraid to go in with your finger and wipe a little bit and just sort of blend that out, okay? Just blend, blend, blend. So it's not quite so boxy looking. We want everything to flow nicely. Okay. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so we've got that going on, all right? Great. Now, I'm gonna go in with coal, which is, let me show it to you on my skin because it's hard to see in this, but it's a really sort of like a mushroomy brown. It's like a gray-brown hybrid. I really like it for a smoky eye look. So we are going to use this, the small end, uh, the best blend forever. No, no. The eyeshadow, everything. And we are going to come in this small part of the corner of the eye. Right in here. So now we're not coming up in this area. We're just doing this little V right here. We're not going past the crease now, okay? We are just smoking out this inner crease right there. See that? Same thing over here. I did not hire somebody to do my makeup on my wedding day. It was one thing I did not do. I did not do that. And I did not hire a videographer. And I am saying this as a professional photographer. I wish I had video of my wedding too. I'm going to wipe off some of that fallout. This is why we do eyes before we do face when you're doing a bold look. Okay, so we got all of that darkness going on. I am also going to take this dark coal and I am going to come down here and I'm going to smoke this outer edge. I'm not bringing it all the way across. Just smoking like probably right to about where your iris is. And meet it over there. Okay, got that. We are almost done. I'm gonna blend a little bit more, tweak it, and then I'm gonna show you my trick on how I get my eyeliner nice and straight for my um my fake lashes. Okay, so we're gonna blend again because it's all about the blending. Now, if you're super simple and you don't want a really bold look, I would A, ask you to revisit that thought process just for your wedding day because you don't want to look washed out and ha like you have no makeup on. B, just try it and see what you think, okay? Because I'm going to take this one step further. You could leave this here. If you wanted to brighten in here, you could absolutely use a lighter shade like Rome or Sabrina um, to brighten right there. We could absolutely do that, but... 
that isn't really my jam. I feel like you guys probably know that already. I'm gonna get a little bit more filly. I just want this to be nice and even. It's okay to add and to wipe and to just get it where you want it. And also know that when the rest of your face is bare, your eyes are gonna look so much, so extra that you're gonna be like, oh, I don't know, that's too much. Wait till you get all your makeup on, okay? All right, so we've got that going on. Just gonna blend a little bit with my finger. There we go. Okay, so we got that. Now, here is the Glamazing. I do not have my setting spray with me, but I need it. So hold that thought. Don't leave. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I got my stay spray. All right. The stay has been sold out for forever, so if you don't have stay spray, any setting spray will work. The reason we want this is because we want it to be hyperpigmented, so we want our brush to be damp. So I'm going to use the small end, make sure it's cleaned off. I'm going to really load this brush up with some of my illuminator, okay? It's the Georgia illuminator. Then I'm going to spray the brush so that's nice and moist. <laughs> we all love that word, right? And then you're gonna press it in to the center. And then you're gonna bring it over to the corner. Now I am pressing this, I am not smearing it around. I am pressing as I go. And I'm bringing it over into that inner corner. Now see how the eye just pops now that you have that really bright, shadow there like now you could do this and that's fine but this is really really gonna pop in your picture it's gonna wake your eyes up it's gonna make you look awake and alert and beautiful and resilient and well lit and all of that so just trust me if you don't have georgia you could use pretty much any illuminator that you have and make it work we're gonna come over here and i'm starting like right mid eyeball like where your eyeball comes out the furthest like right over your iris I'm going sort of in a circle and then I'm bringing it forward and then I'll come to the tear duct and sort of bring it back too now if you don't have setting spray you can do this but it's going to take several more coats of eyeshadow to get it this bold that's one of the the, the tricks with the setting spray and eyeshadow it almost gives you like a cut crease look okay got that I'm wipe my brush off again and I'm going to blend not all of it I'm just sort of blending the edges and the crease bringing the crease down and blending the edges just like that so it all flows nicely there okay See how pretty that is? Now here is my super fun trick because I have my, if you've missed it, the liner bond. This is a game changer for fake lashes, ladies. It's There's nothing else like it on the market. It is not magnetic. It works with any kind of lashes. It's made by Silly George. I've got a link and a discount code in my bio. It goes on like liquid eyeliner and it's amazing. But I know a lot of us, because I am not a huge eyeliner fan. And so I kind of struggle to get liquid eyeliner on great. This is wedding day we're talking about. We want everything to be as easy as possible. So I'm going to give you a cheat sheet line. I'm use a small, small brush. This is our multitasker. Okay. I'm going to use a small end of it. I am going to get it wet with my stay spray. If you don't have stay spray, you could use water. I don't care. And we're going to go into Salem, which is our black eyeshadow. Not the black cream. This is the powder shadow, okay? And then I am going to go just right onto my lash line. And I am going to color a black eyeliner stripe. Now, I want it literally as in my lashes as I can get. 
And that's just going to give me something to follow when I come in with my falsies, okay? Just like that. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm coming right into that lash line and I'm just sort of wiggling back and forth as I go. That'll also help you give a really like a bold look to the base of your lashes, which makes them appear a lot thicker. So if you aren't a fake, um, a fake eyelash girl, you aren't going to wear any, you don't like them. One of the tricks on how to fake, fake eyelashes, like how to make your real lashes look fake is to really go in that lash line and make it nice and dark down here. And it's going to make your lashes appear a lot thicker and darker naturally. Oh, there. Okay. We've got that going. I might even bring a little bit down here in the corner. Because why not? Just waterline it a little bit. Everybody loves a good waterline. There we go. Okay. See how this is starting to come together now? I still feel like that needs to come out a little bit, but... There we go. What, bud? Oh, boy. Here he comes. <laughs> what, baby? Mama's working. What do you need? You can come in here and sit. He's going to go behind the curtain. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Okay. So, we got that going on. I did the eyeliner. And you could use a pencil eyeliner. Just something that you got a line to follow when you go over with this liner bond, okay? Shake it up. And I kind of pull my eye tight. And then I'm just going to follow that line. Because the thing with this liner bond, as awesome as it is, it stays sticky, which is wonderful if your lash lifts or anything like that. It's not wonderful if you make the line too thick because it will grab, your, your eyelid will stick to it and you'll feel it and it'll bug you. So you do not want, it's not like magnetic liner where you have to have this really bold line for it to grab, okay? You don't want that. So I've got that on. Find my lashes. I've gotten loads of questions about these lashes. I'll show you which ones I'm using in just a second. Set the corner down. Give it a little press. And that is how easy it is to use a liner bond. Lashes are on. These lashes are, of course, they're not sitting here. Where did they go? Here they are. I lost the box outside, but they're the Kiss, and they say sequin right there, okay? They're really obnoxious, and I love them. They're also super lightweight, and they're very, very comfortable, which is another reason that I love them. And they're cheap, so if you're like me, and you like to wear mascara on your falsies, this is a great brand to do that with, because you're not you know what I mean? They're kind of, they're disposable. It's not like you're paying 40 bucks for them or whatever. Like you're not, it's not going to kill you to put some mascara on these if you want. All right. Other eye. Let me go in with the liner bond. Bless you, buddy. I put my pretzels on the ground. You, oh, okay. You spit your pretzels on the ground. It's because you sneezed. Yep. I don't have a moment to myself, you guys. I really need Mother's Day out to open back up. Okay, so this is my liner bond. Making a nice sticky line. Just like that. Take the other lash. And set the inner corner. And just sort of pull it across. And press it all in. So pretty. Okay. Let me, now I usually, actually, I'm going to move that because I wear mine a little further in. That's the great thing about this liner bond. You can adjust accordingly and the lashes will stick right back down and stay. So it's not like regular glue where it dries and you've got a big gluey mess you've got to peel off. Doesn't gum up the back of the lashes. 
Okay. All right. Now I'm not going to put any more eye mascara on, um, the fake lashes because I've already got like two coats on here, but I, I do always mascara my natural lashes and I just see, sort of use the tip of the brush and come under and just mascara those lashes because mine are blonde and you can see them against the black fake ones. And then always got to wear mascara on those lowers. And I am going to, if I cannot get this to load to IGTV, if the video is too long, I'll put it on, um, on uh, YouTube and I'll share the link. Okay. In my stories, I'll link it in my stories for you guys. So here we go. We've got all this going on. Looks amazing. See how that all came together? Like it was looking really ratchet there for a minute, but then when you get it all on, it just all comes together really nicely. So let's just tweak it a little bit more little bit more of the Georgia, which is the, the shimmer. And we're going to come right into the corner of the eye with it. You could also, if you wanted to use like unicorn as one of our like really light silvery shimmery ones or glamazing illuminator would be another really pretty choice. But there we go. And just for you guys, like I'm going to do a really quick hack so you can sort of see the finished product. Um, wipe my, my oily face off. <laughs> okay. Super quick hack. One of my little color correcting ones. So I'm going to bust out my favorite brush, which is the best blend forever. I am going to go into Aspen, which is a contour, but I use it as a color corrector and I even use it as a main highlight sometimes. Just depends on what I got going on with my skin tone. See how that just vanished all that redness? It also camouflages pores really good. So I always use it on my nose and I just use a little bit. There we go. Okay, got that. I've got some redness down here in my little mustache area. So I'll go over that with it. And over here as well. And then I'm gonna come into my cheek and cover that redness. Got some spots over here. So I'm really just sort of spot treating my redness with this Aspen, okay? And it honestly, like, it does a really good job camouflaging under eyes. I want to show you guys the difference between... No, I don't. I was going to show you Frenchie, but I don't have it in here. So you could use Frenchie for your under eyes. I've also found that Aspen works really good. So Frenchie camouflages dark circles really, really well. But so does Aspen. Um... It just, at least it does on me. It works really, really good on just sort of neutralizing any darkness. You'll be able to see here in just a second how fast it works. See that? See how that's all just gone? So I'm going to use it over here too. And then I'm going to use my Sunlit, which is like my brightening yeah. highlight. And then I'm going to use, I've been using Shadow Contour and I'm loving it. We've got that. Okay. That's all looking great. So let's go in with the detail hack and put some shadow. My husband's going to be like, what on earth are you so dolled up for? Be like to sit on the couch, baby. Enjoy the view. <laughs> all right. Really quickly. There we go. Use the other end to do my forehead. Just like that. Okay. Got that going on. And then I'm going to use the edge to contour my nose. And I just sort of bring that down. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? You can come say hi. Mm -hmm. Lean in. Say hi. <laughs> he just woke up from his nap. I can't get everything done. Like, it's just impossible. I needed a shower and I needed to do my hair. And I needed to make a video. And like the minute I pulled up IG, he woke up. And I was like, well, it just is what it is. At least he's cute. Okay. Contours on. 
I'm going to feather that up just a little bit because I don't plan on blending it a whole lot. Okay, contour is on. Then, hey, no touching, please. Then I am going to use, I have been really enjoying doing my makeup with, this is my other eyeshadow everything brush. And so it, um, it goes in the creams. It's, I don't ever use this one on my eyes. So I'm going to go into my sunlit with the small end and I'm going to come in here in the corner of my eye and I'm going to get rid of the rest of that darkness. And I will blend this here in just a second. I'm just sort of getting it placed right now. Got that. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to come down my nose with it. I'm going to do my upper lip. It'll all make sense here in just a minute. <laughs> what, bud? I'm a huge hatch. Okay. All right. Oop. Dropped Stop. it. Oh, drop. I got it. That's all right. All right. Back to this brush. Best blend forever. Sunlit. And we're going to... I make a makeup one minute. You're going to make makeup too? Okay. Why? We're just going to brighten. Oh, baby, please don't. No, don't put that in my eyeshadow. <laughs> I want that. <laughs> That one. Okay, I need you to not do it right now, okay? Mama let you in just a minute. Okay. All right. Eyelashes let go. There we go. All right. See how that's brightening so pretty? Now, if I can do this with a toddler driving me bonkers in 15 minutes. You're going to have plenty of time to get this done beautifully on your wedding day. I promise. And I'm just blending down my nose. See? And then I always go under my, under my contour and I brighten just a little bit there. And see how that just sort of sharpens it up? See? I'm go there. He just put that contour brush in eyeshadow. So let me wipe it off. All right. And then I'm going to put some contour under my lip. No, thank you. No, thank you. Hey. Shh, shh. hey. I don't want to share with you. You're putting them in the wrong colors. Well. Um, okay. Got that? all that. I'm brightened. I'm contoured. I want to pick mom. I'm distracted because I've got a toddler next to me. <laughs> Bear with me, you guys. I'm trying not to drag this out. I'm just going to brighten this a little bit. I blended that a little too much. There we go. Okay. Got that. All looks great even brighten up here right underneath the brows Mama, what's just a little in bit there? hold on baby mama's working oh, i need this real quick let me have you look so handsome come come let everybody see smile okay last lip and cheek i'm gonna use cindy i'm gonna put it here whatever lip and cheek you want to use i just really i look good in pinks so pinks are my summer all right Got all that on, clean end. We're just gonna blend it out. I'm bringing all that up and back. Just sort of buffing this. And there you have it. Now, if this is wedding day makeup, we can totally set this. A little bit of dry shampoo if you don't want to spray it all over your face spray it into your brush and then just pat and last but not least very handsome a little bit of eyebrows filly in the hotline brush mama it's me mama in. mama that's me mama that is you and mama you're so handsome Almost done, you guys. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. I knocked that eyelash loose. All right. There we go. I love Philly in my brows. It's too warm for some people, but it's great for me. 
comb through that. And then just FYI, if you do like me and you knock your eyelash a little loose, just peel it up right there in the corner and put a little bit more liner down. I may not have put enough eyeliner in that corner because they usually don't budge. And then grab some lash grabbers. Did you run off with my stuff? No. No? I feel like you're being a liar, liar, pants on fire. There we go. All right. And then... Peek-a-boo. Oh, sneak. I want my sneaks. A little bit of Cindy on the lips. I want to see on there. You want to see? And there we go, you guys. It's a really quick wedding day look. It's simple. I used five colors on my eyes. I'll go through them one more time. I used basic. I used, try not to drop them, Billy. I used coal. Mama, I Salem. used Salem. And then I used our Georgia Illuminator. So there you go. And then, of course, your Georgia can absolutely double and give you that candlelit glow that we all need in our wedding pictures. I hope that helps you guys. If you are a bride stuck in a rut and need some help or some one-on-one -on -one counsel and you need an artist, I would like to be that for you. So I'm going to hop off here. I hope that was helpful and um, I love you guys and hang in there and Hopefully this mess will be over sooner rather than later. I know I'm ready to be on the front lines. I'm all about some herd immunity. I don't want to make anybody leave their house, but I'm ready to get the hell out of mine. <laughs> Talk to y'all later.